Yay! Um, guys, guys, guys. I have lots of the important things to share with you. You're going to want to get a pen. You're going to want to take notes. Write down the stuff I talk about today. I want you to research it. Please. <laughs> um, because we'll be going through some stuff tonight that... Um, well, just, if you can, jot down some notes. So... <clears throat> I'm going to be going over several things. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. My sinuses are really bad today. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, goodness. Uh, anyway. Okay. It's not quite 11 yet, so I will wait a few minutes for that. Let's see here. What can I share with you right now? Hmm. Okay. It's weird about my views. Because, yes, I've been putting out more videos, but it doesn't seem my views add up to what's actually say, it's saying on the analytics. See, I think they're making my views look lower than normal in some cases, maybe, because that way you guys will think that I'm not credible or something. It's weird. Speculatively, of course. Um, because I'm confused, maybe, because... Um, it, they, when I, it says, when I look at my last 48 hours, that I've had 7,818 views. And I'm like, that doesn't seem like, that doesn't add up. Like, it says maybe I've had like 3,000 something. And I'm like, hmm, hmm. But of course, I'm not the most tech savvy, so, you know. Uh, so, uh, anyway. How are you guys doing? Who's here? Um, oh, wow, there's lots of, wow, you guys have been going out, getting at it in chat, right? I'm not missing this live. <laughs> just is coming soon. Thank you for being here, honey. Um, just for crafts and giggles, Kelly Jolief. I'm sorry. Um, I know I just totally, like, slaughtered that last name, but, um, <laughs> Susan, oh, goodness, sorry. Kelly, Jessa, hello. Um, I love that name. I think it's so cute, actually. Um, I'm an early riser, too. Oh, gosh, guys. I slept so good last night. Like, I mean, so good. I didn't wake up. I didn't roll over. I didn't do anything. I just crashed. I was exhausted. I'm so sorry. <laughs> last night, first day, and I, I, I literally, I've been kind of, like, living on naps because I just don't feel comfortable sleeping for a long time, and Last night I was just praying. I was like, God, please let me rest. I just need sleep. And I feel so much better. Like, I feel so much better. Oh, my goodness. Thank you, Lord. Oh, he is so good, guys. So, so good. Um, let's see. Oh, one other thing. I'm not deleting any comments at all. Unless it's something that, or like, someone I'm blocking and it, like, deletes it or whatever. But I'm not, like, deleting people's comments at all. If I don't heart it or thumb up it or thumb down it or reply to it, I didn't see it. Um, like, sometimes I'll scan through just to make sure there's nothing negative. But I don't consider that really reading the email or read the messages because I'm not. I'm just kind of skimming to see if there's anything negative that, that needs to be taken out. Um, and, but, I, but I do go through every one and read every one. I try to read every one. I'm not good at keeping up with the replies, so if it's something important and I didn't, you know, like, reply to it or heart it or whatever, then I didn't see it. Uh, so make a new comment if you want me to see it. Um, not right now. Okay. It's almost 11, guys. Okay, let's see. Your sleep is all over the place. Sorry, Kelly, I know it's rough. I saw Tucker Carlson, new YouTube program, talks about, ooh, him. Oh, oh, is he like a, hey, is that guy that had that island, is he like a buzzword in chat? Do you guys know? Oh, don't be offended, Jess. I'm going to delete that just in case. <laughs> I don't know. Hmm. Sorry. Um, 
Can we make like a, a nickname for him? Like Island Man or something? I don't know. Um, Army must be running late. Am I late? I'm not late. It's 11. 10.30 at night, 11 a.m. Have I, I probably said it wrong last night too. I was so tired. Um, I caught an interesting tidbit on MC's last live. Hello, lovelies. Time marker 24.3. What did she say? I don't even know what you're talking. I don't know. I've not been, I've not really watched her. It slipped the Wisco madman goes back and forth to Truckee from the center of the country. <gasps> oh, we got to pin that one. We got to pin that one. Hold on. Ah! Did I pin it? Hold on. I think I messed up. <laughs> I did. Here we go. Oh! It slipped. Uh-oh. Wisco fixes their computers. Interesting stuff, guys. Yeah, I was able to get some things off my chest. You know, I was really dreading. I mean, you guys saw how sad I was. I was really dreading the thing with Mrs. G. I like her. It's hard. It sucks. And I'm not saying... Look, look guys, I'm not saying... These people had anything to do with what happened to Kylie Rodney. Let me make that very clear, okay? All I'm saying is I don't think these these creators are really for justice. Oh, let me put it this way, for for Kylie's truth. Let's put it that way. I think they're they have some sort of agenda, and I don't understand it all. Like I said, I don't like attacking creators because I don't know why they're doing what they're doing. I really don't. I don't know the ins and outs of it. So please, when I, whenever I, I say things about these people, don't think that I'm trying to say that they had anything to do with what happened to Kylie. I'm just saying, I don't know, but I feel like they're not really looking for tr Kylie's truth. Okay? That's all I'm saying. It's after 11, so here we go. This video, like every single one of my videos, is only my opinion. I'm only speculating. I'm only creating theories based on information that I find online. Someone was like, you're creating theories? And I'm like, yes, I'm creating theories based on the information that I find. That's what a theory is, right, guys? I mean, geez. So I'm not accusing anyone of anything. I just am speculating about what could maybe might be happening. It's just my opinion. I share it with you guys on YouTube. Please look stuff up yourself. Research things yourself. Watch whoever you want on YouTube. Watch everyone on YouTube. It doesn't make a difference to me. Um, and please form your own opinion. But please don't bully anyone or confront anyone, harass anyone, or threaten anyone. Um, so, guys. <laughs> I find I take a drink whenever I don't, I like want to buy time. I'm like, uh. <laughs> I just, when I came into this, I thought that I was part of a team. I praise God for how he's done this because I know that I wouldn't have been strong enough to do it on my own and come out and do this, right? If I was like the only person fighting for justice for Guy right? So... I took for granted, and I think a lot of us did, that certain things had been sleuthed. You know, and when, for example, people like Shanda say, you know, I did, you know, uh, graphic art and, you know, pixel painting and all this stuff, you know, I know all the ins and outs. So when she says a picture is not photoshopped, we're like, oh, well, she knows what she's talking about. So, yeah, you know. Like I said, I don't know why people are doing what they're doing. I really have no idea. I still haven't figured that out yet. But I'm more convinced than ever that Kylie is alive. She's alive. She's alive. She's alive. She's alive, in my opinion. And I'm going to share a couple more reasons why I feel that way in just a moment. Um, sorry, uh... 
Yeah, I'm uncomfortable. See, like, look at me adjusting myself, my body language. Like, I've been trying to read body language to be able to understand people in Trekkie better. And I'm like, yeah, I guess that's what I do when I'm uncomfortable. I'm like moving around. Oh, okay. So, all right. One of the reasons I feel more convinced than ever that Kylie's alive is because now that I feel that Mrs. G is not for Kylie's truth, she did a video of a tarot card reader and the question was, what's Kylie's, like she'd won her shorts and it was like, what is Kylie's energy right now? And the woman pulls up the death card and she's like, death. Well, that just, that, or that, that settles that or something like that. And I'm like, ah! she's definitely alive. Praise God. Praise God. I think she's alive. I think she's alive. Guys, guys, she might still be alive. Yes, it's possible she's not. But are you convinced? Are you convinced that she's not alive? Oh, troll alert. Good grief. Okay, hold on a minute here, guys. A one-way street, would you please mod for me right now while I'm trying to do this, please? If you don't mind. I'm going to wait for your reply. Guys, I'm sorry for the trolls. I just... <sighs> All you have to do... Does, okay, is, okay, um, I'm sorry. Okay, um... <sighs> Good grief. Let me see who's here. I can't... <laughs> uh, who's the troll? I don't see anybody unless I'm missing something. Oh, my. Okay, um... All you have to do is click on someone's name, a one-way street. You click, you'll, you'll be able to click on their name and you'll be able to hit hide from channel and it'll like block them. That's it. It's not hard. Would you want to try? Here, let's try it out. And if you happen to make a mistake and block the wrong person or something, just let me know and I'll, I'll fix it. But here, hold on. Um... It should send you a request to be a moderator. Sorry about this, guys. Did it work? Let me know if it worked, please. Okay, so. All right, guys. I want to talk to you a little bit about um, my theories, okay? Because... I've noticed when people talk about Kylie too, a lot of people in the situation, creators, everyone, they don't say she died, she passed away. They say she lost her life. And I believe she did. She lost the life that she had. Maybe she knew too much. Maybe too much happened to her and the people that could go down were just, you know, people that just aren't going down. Their life's worth more than hers, apparently, right? Anyway, so... These people are so entitled, it kills me. I just can't. I can't. All right, so... Um... All right, not right now. You know, don't take anything for granted in this case. When you're sleuthing things, if, you, if you're looking things up for yourself, please look up everything. Like I said, I had never looked up Megan Cole because I thought somebody else did. You know, I thought, well, yeah, of course, like, you know, Megan Cole and Mags and Lindsay, those people have to be completely sleuthed, right? Because, I mean, obviously, right? We took people's word for it. Now, when I told, well, let me go through this real quick. I was looking at my analytics, and in the past month, the top 
four most popular videos are, and I'm gonna read them off to you. You might wanna jot this down because I find it interesting. Which ones are the most popular? Okay. Number one is the one I just did, what was it, a couple days ago? And it's the most popular in 30 days or 28 days or whatever they consider a month. Uh, was Kylie Rodney was dating someone. I'll wait. Oh, yeah, she was. And this opinion over here at Army for Jesus. Oh, my, my, my. Here we go. Kelly Max saying it right. Mm. <laughs> uh. Right? It is disappointing. I think in this instance, the cards were interpreted wrong. We all know how many people have the same similar names in Truckee. So who knows how many kids are called Kylie, Kelly. I think she's still alive. Oh, yes. I do too, Wendy. I do too. Lord, I pray to guide Army's words and help her stay forced. Me focused? I think you be focused. Um, also, give us eyes to see and ears to hear your truth. Right. Right. You know, I pray that his truth goes through me, you know, like I said, anything wrong or mean or bad that I say is definitely me. The only thing good about me is the parts of me that are God. Like, he deserves all the credit and I deserve all the criticism, if that makes any sense at all. You know, like, I'm just doing my best and I will never be like Jesus. But, but it's my goal to try harder every day to be more like him. To have, to, to seek his heart. You know, and with my temper, especially as bad as it used to be, you know, and, and I used to be a very spiteful person. And it's really hard not to fall into my flesh and want to feel that way. Are you good? Oh, when we sure you're good? Okay, you got it, I think. Okay, you got it, I think. You're, you're yeah, you're, 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 you're doing it. You got it. All right, you're good. All right, so... Okay, the second one is, <laughs> this is Slander MC, so I'm thinking maybe uh, some people saw that and maybe her dad was one of them. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't know, I don't know, but if Man Megan takes me to court, I'm ready. Um, the third one is, and think about this for just a minute, we've been, okay, We've been shown who Daisy Cole is, but we don't actually know if that's Daisy Cole. We've heard Daisy Cole, like, on Megan's Lives and stuff, but I think that the pictures we see are a sister or a cousin or something else. I'm not sure of it, but I think it's possible. But apparently, me saying, Daisy Cole, are we being lied to, and the title made them click. And I'm like, hmm. Interesting. And number four, quickly moving up the chart. You ready? Kylie Rodney, the who and the where. And if you'll notice, the majority of those videos Oh, no, sorry. No, I won't say the majority. Let's do this. Number one and number four, I've just put out. Hmm. Interesting, right? I think it's interesting. Okay. Uh, but when that lady looked things up, you blocked her. Why are you doing that? What are you talking about? I don't know who you're talking about specifically. You're going to have to do better than that lady. I don't know what you're talking about. I'd be leery of anyone with a ton of aliases, right? Because it's weird. Yeah, you, yeah, take care of Mary. Thank you, One Way Street. Um, so, 
So. Okay. I want to lay this out for you the way I think it goes because I think I figured out who David Wood is to Megan. Who's ready for it? I need hearts. I need hearts, guys, because so I was literally sweeping my kitchen and it clicked. And I was like, no way. Okay, so you know how Megan had, has been speaking lately about something recently that happened that was a domestic violence issue, right? With Jerko, her boyfriend, you know? You know? You know? <laughs> I think this is Jerko. <laughs> I do. I do. I think this is Megan's boyfriend. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and she makes fun of me with some teeth back here. Ah! <laughs> I think this is Jerko. 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 And I don't know if uh, Sammy Wood is his daughter, her daughter, or both of their daughters. However, she is a twin. Okay? This is her, ch her twin, Jasmine. Okay? Now, hold on. <laughs> what if Sammy Smith, what if her name really isn't Sammy? What if, oh shoot, maybe it is the way these people do names. I mean, it's possible, it's for real. What if she's their little sister? Because, I mean, wow. I mean, I would say they could be triplets, but uh, they're in different grades. But uh, there's two years between them, I believe. Right? Susan, are they inbred? Ah! <laughs> Look at you on my street. She's turned into, or he, I'm sorry, he or she is turning into a heck of a mod. Let's give a round of applause to a one way street. <laughs> I appreciate you, hun. But yeah, I mean, couldn't they be sisters? I mean, come on, guys. Right? And wouldn't this explain why Sammy cut her hair and started wearing it curly? Since that's how Sammy's hair is. Oh, and shortly after Kylie went missing, it became red. <laughs> yeah, it did. But yeah, I don't know how anyone, especially in the dark, would be able to tell Sammy Smith and Sammy Wood apart. It, uh, it just is not possible. There's no way, unless you knew them really well or they're your sister or something like that. Hold on, I've apparently lost my, oh no, here it is, okay. Look how much they look alike, guys, seriously. Sammy's eyes are really blue, too. They're, she's just looking up. But, y'all, for real. And then let's say these kids were at that party. They didn't know Sammy, okay? So, they show up to talk to the police and give tips. And Sammy is standing out in front and they're like, oh my God, that's the girl that did it. Oh. 
question mark. I'm not telling y'all what to believe. Believe whatever you want to believe. I just I just share with you how I feel. We were told stories about who Sammy is. I think her family was fabricated and I think it was fabricated because she belongs in this family. With these brothers, question mark, and Cooper, and Connor, how many are there? But, I had everything laid out so nicely before I could, I'm sorry guys, you know, I, like I said, I'd promise you that, or I'd try to tell you that it'll get better, but it probably won't, so. Sorry, just get used to hitting that forward button. Um, okay, so sometimes. <laughs> oh, sorry guys, I'm making myself laugh at this sexy couple. <clears throat> Allegedly. <laughs> okay, sometimes ugly people have pretty kids. <laughs> oh, but listen, okay, listen. I told you all last night that Elle said that Kylie felt like Sammy was jealous of her and she didn't really know why and she didn't want her to be because she wanted her to be her friend, right? Sorry, that was kind of mean. I can't help it, guys. I'm still human, okay? <laughs> And you've heard all the horrible things Megan says about me, all right? Just give me a little grace, please. Oh, Lord, help me. <sighs> okay, so. <laughs> Elle said that Kylie felt like Sammy was jealous of her. I told you guys that she was wanting to cut her hair because she thought maybe her hair was why they were jealous and she, or Sammy was jealous and she didn't want, she just didn't want her to be jealous. She wanted to be their friend. She wanted to be accepted. And, um, you know, she was pretty naive. Like, she was very, very smart. And she was a little bit street star smart and stuff. But she was just kind of naive in the way that she was trusting, you know. Um, and when we, when I was talking to her, we were discussing this, Elle and I. Um, and I said, do you think it's possible that Sammy, the real Sammy, had dated or was wanting to date Nate. What if Nate is like Megan's like nephew on her on like her husband's side of the family. You know what I mean? I don't know. Like I'm just I'm just confused. Like and I know these people seem to keep not uh, not necessarily incest, but just they like these close family bonds, you know, like between the Browns and the Smiths and I don't think it's like you have to, I don't know. I don't know how it goes, but I'm speculating that maybe it would be like, you know, we prefer for you to date in this pool, you know. Um, or it may be something that's strictly enforced. I don't know. Regardless of how that all works out, something is off here. Sorry. Again, of course, always. I know, you're like, get flow needs. Well, you know what? All right, so. <laughs> anyway, uh, so, um. I think it's very possible that this this is the Sammy. 
who was jealous of Kylie. And I mean, she's pretty, but let's be real. I mean, this girl compared to Kylie. <laughs> I mean, I would have chose Kylie too, right? <laughs> but perhaps she's entitled like her mother. Because let's be honest. Doesn't it seem like that's the kind of daughter that Megan would raise? Right? What y'all thinking? I'm thinking, yeah. You know, I, I think like Megan, Mrs. G's last name starts with a C. I think Gallagher is her maiden name. I would prefer to not put out her last name. Um, you know, I still have love and respect for her. I, like I said, even though she's mad at me, probably hates me now, it's fine. I get it. It's obvious to me, in my opinion, that we're on different sides. And it sucks. Because I think in another life, me and Mrs. G could be really good friends. And it sucks. Regardless, I think this is the Sammy. And I hope you all are taking notes. Because I believe with every single fiber of my being, and I know this is Loggy's picture, but it still shows about the, like, the general location, okay? I believe the party was in the neighborhood I showed you an incline. Well, you know what? I'm not even going to say the party. Not the party. I'm going to say that's the last place Kylie was swimming. Where this photo was taken. Let's say that where this photo was taken. Why is it such a big deal? I'm saying she was swimming there, that maybe there was a party there. Like, literally, like, why are they freaking out so bad if I'm so, so wrong? Question mark, right guys? And if you'll notice, if you wanna go back and watch people's content, over the past few months. Yes, it may seem drastic to you all that I blocked Salagi and Mrs. G and got into it with them. I told you all, Mrs. G is smart. But whenever I saw Megan's reaction to me asking, and I was literally just guessing, I was just kind of mad the way Mrs. G was coming at me in the chat that day. And I was like, is she on the other side? And I was like, is your name Gallagher? Because it's the name in this case, you know, like, and she, you know, I guess it is. And I didn't know, uh, but praise God, right? So uh, that day, Megan's reaction to that really caught my attention. I've watched Megan enough to know when to pay attention to what she's saying, in my opinion. Again, everything is always my opinion and speculation. Now, okay. <laughs> After that, I started listening to Mrs. G all the time. 
And I noticed that she's smart. She was playing it smart. Friends close, enemies closer, right? More flies with honey. But she was irritated. And I could hear it and feel it. And I remember listening to her live and she's like, I'm not mad at A for J. And I'm like, oh, somebody's getting in their feelings. Like, I just, that's the energy I felt from it. And I'm like, huh, seems like that did upset her, but why? Like, I mean, hmm, and is she related to the Gallaghers that I've seen? I can't really tell you that. I'll tell you that if you guys have a hard time finding the information. But like I said, I believe that Mrs. G's last it, last name starts with a C. Mm-hmm. I do. And that's why I think all of this has looked so much like a psyop is because, like, not, not I'm not, like, regarding Mrs. G, but, like, I think it's looked so much like a psyop because these people have lived so many places and have so many aliases. But I don't think it's because they work for the government. Look, the people in Truckee were worried about the FBI. Go back and watch the very first press conference. They're concerned. They're worried. Those kids came over to hear what the FBI said. They didn't come over to hear Sam Brown and Troy Sander and Scott Alford. All names also I have found connected to this group, right? Um, and like I said, I'm not that wrong. I could be totally off. Always. But, um, you know, I would be curious to know. I'm not going to say that. Please do your research on the houses in Incline that are near that area. I believe in the general area I showed you is likely where Kylie was at on that dock. Is that also the place where the party took place? Question mark. I don't know. Is it possible? Might wanna write this one down too. Okay, everything, I'm not telling you to specifically to write down everything I want you to write down, but you should jot down everything in this video and pay attention to it, please. Please, and do your own research, please. I'm begging y'all. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not reading much chat, guys. I've got a lot to tell you. Okay, so. I need a second. Sorry, guys. It's just, oh gosh. I'm gonna say this twice. I want you guys to pay very close attention to what I'm saying because I think this may be a very good theory. What if there was a person who cleaned houses for a living? And what if this person had keys to this home because the owners were not always in town or there or whatever. What if this person 
let her children throw a party at a home that she cleaned. And what if what happened to Kylie would ruin lives of these elite kids? These kids who were already in, in my opinion, this circle of people. Okay. And they knew that if they did something like this or something happened or maybe they just had plans for Kylie and wanted to give her a fun send away party or they got their last licks in. What if some gruesome things like Sam Brown said, happened to Kylie at this party. Well, no. What if this needed fixed and the owner of the home helped or their family perhaps? to cover it up because they would be liable for what happened at their home, right? And what if that home was on a lake? And what if something happened to someone at the party and then they couldn't let her go because, I mean, these elite kids' lives are worth more than hers, right? I mean, if we listen to these people's perspective on it, in my opinion, I mean, listening to Megan talk, it's like, her, as long as her kids are good, like, Screw the rest of the kids. My opinion only. So what if she was kept somewhere? And drugged? And then once everything was set in place and people were moved... And their names were changed... And it was all set up. And then they needed the party to exist. One that played out almost exactly the same as the original party. Except Kylie was taken out of a vehicle now we can talk about Kylie from here this point on you know like what if Kylie was taken out of a vehicle while drugged walked around a party in a tank top because Elle said she was anemic and she was always cold. She wouldn't have been hanging out in no tank top after dark. Like if it was chilly, no way. What if she was taken out while drugged, joined at the hip with Sammy, and kind of walked around to where she could look really messed up. People said that she could hardly speak, that she was falling in holes. And then a fight staged to do it to her again. But this time, 
to gaslight all those rich kids. <laughs> and really, doesn't that weed out the ones with a soul? The ones that try to help? And then when they show up to try to give tips, to try to help, they're faced with who they think is the person who did this. And they're helping the police. I think the reason Sammy Smith is so clueless is because she really wasn't Kylie's friend. I think it was her sister's friend or cousin's friend, or however they're connected. I don't know exactly, okay, guys? Like I said, this is all a theory. I'm just saying it would make sense. There's also one huge detail about Kylie that I can't share with you yet. Elle has asked me to hold it up on it until after she meets you guys. going to change everything. But my theory could still work. But the news I have to tell you about Kylie I think to some of you, it'll confirm something that you've already kind of thought. I think to others, it's absolutely going to blow your mind. I think there are people on both sides of the fence when it comes to this issue, and I think it will ease all of your minds to have some sort of truth or perspective truth about it. People keep back to asking me, you know, what if this woman's manipulating you, blah, blah, blah. You know what? She might be. I'm not perfect. But I'm telling you, I've had literally hundreds of people come at me and try to give me information. And she's the only one that I legitimately believe. I could be wrong. But she seems to genuinely love Kylie. I've heard the woman sob. Sob and thank me for really caring about Kylie. She's not trying to push any information on me. Some things she's had a really hard time telling me about. Because she feels like she's violating Kylie's trust. And it's hard to remember. It's hard for her. But she also thinks Kylie is alive. She also thinks that the dress... You know what? Never mind. I'm not going to go there right now. Please just pay attention to what I've told you. Do your research today, guys. I'm going to read a few comments. So if there's something you need to say, like I'm going to read a few for a few minutes. Um, but please pay attention to the things I've said. Look these things up yourself. You know, tell me what you think of my theory. Do you think it's possible? Because it, it's, it's, it would make sense to me. Because it seems like there seem to be two definitive sides in my perspective, that neither one are for justice for Kylie, but they don't seem to be together. I don't know. I, I just thought maybe the house cleaner thing would make it make sense. Maybe it was the house cleaner who had a party at somebody's house. Maybe the house was for sale and the 
house cleaner's daddy had keys to the house. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe the house cleaner was renting the house for these parties for extra money. I have no idea. I really don't. Please do your own research. But it's super interesting to me. Guys, can you please give me some hearts on the side if a one-way street's been a good mod because I've not been paying any attention and I want to know how they're doing because I would like to ask you to stay if everyone thinks you've done a good job. Oh, look, everyone loves you. Look at that. See? They love you. All right, so would you mind to stay a one-way street and be a mod for me for now? Oh my goodness, okay, please, please hit those likes. There's 149 in here and only 23 likes that One Way Street says, right? Best mod ever. Look, look at that, it just caught right on. Um, alive and in a bad situation or alive and okay. I want to find her and help in any way possible. I think she's alive and in a bad situation. I don't know that, that's just my feeling about it. I feel like we need to save her. I feel like it's not, I don't think she ran away with some boyfriend of the Bahamas. Like, I think she needs us. And I think maybe that's why God has pulled me so hard. But either way, either way, whatever is coming, whatever he's leading me to is for his glory. Maybe it's to show you all how good he still is. He's still the same God. He doesn't change. And that, I love that. You know, like, our country has changed so much and the values of our people have changed so much. And I just, I'm grateful that God doesn't change. You don't have to try to keep up with his trends. And I just praise him for it. He's just amazing. He's just amazing. How great is he? And how blessed are we? Oh, goodness. Um, like, for real, she's in danger. We're a great group of people here that love Kylie. We need lots of opinions because we don't really know what happened. Right, Jenny, I agree. The post in says the FBI didn't look in the basement. Oh, I don't know about that, though. That might have just been, you know, uh, another red herring. Um, I know I was telling Jenny I feel the same sometimes. I'm usually late here, so I just listen in for a bit. Makes sense. Puts what you wanted to tell you back nothing. Makes sense and puts what I wanted to tell you back into the nothing pile. I'm done. I'm sorry, honey. Um, oh, thanks, guys. I would be honored, Army. Thank you so much at One Way Street. I appreciate you. Um... Number 40 likes. You guys are so funny. 46. We're up to 46, guys. Um, he's amazing. Every day, all day, Jesus is king. Yes. Um, most of trolls probably. Was Kylie pregnant? Oh, Lord. Uh, I may be the... I think maybe the FBI was going to do this, but Homeland Security came, and that was a wrap, allegedly. I don't know. I don't know. I think they had something that was such a good lead for the FBI, you know, like about what happened to Kylie, that as soon as the FBI like left town or something, then that was the one they like did this. Like, I think that, I think that the local FBI were like, we got it here. Go look over there. <laughs> I don't know. I could be wrong. I don't know. I don't know how they've worked this. Um, the FBI probably thinks there's no way that this many people could be involved, so they trusted some of them, I'm sure. Um, I don't know. Something's very off. I don't know. Um, don't be sorry. I'd rather us figure this out, right? We got your back, Army. Thank you, One Way Street. I appreciate you, hun. Um, way back at the first presser, no one really looked like they were anxious or upset or demonstrated any sense of urgency. That was it for me. I was like, why is nobody in a hurry? You know? It's like going to the emergency room because someone's bleeding to death and, like, people, nurses just like, da-da-da-da. It was just bizarre. 
I wonder how many elites around this case are on. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Can we call him Island Man? Uh, yes, we do. I want my street. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Probably a lot. It wouldn't surprise me. I'm having that family here today. Gotta get cooking soon. Oh, ham and scalloped potatoes and salad and roast beef. Oh, yeah. Wow, that sounds awesome. I'm starving right now. I'm gonna have to go make me something to eat. Um, okay, I would be pacing back and forth nonstop, looking, looking, right? Tenny from the block will be right over you. Right. For real. Yeah, let's all go to, let's all, all go over to uh, Jenny's house. Jenny! Oh, I'm sorry, what was it you said your husband says? Jenny? <laughs> Jenny! Um... So if Kylie went missing in June, that kind of puts everyone on in the list, right? And that would explain why Lindsay seemed to have already accepted whatever had happened. Maybe she's not crying because she's not actually dead. Maybe they said, hey, look, you know she can't come back, but we'll let you see her once a year or something if you, uh, you know, do this and make this go away. You know, maybe after, you know, 10 years or whatever, you can have her back under a different name or... I don't know. Like, I literally have no idea how this works. I seriously have no idea. Maybe it was just as simple as, you know, if you do this, you'll get a, you'll get to say goodbye to her. Uh, I don't know, guys. Maybe they told Lindsay she was dead. I don't know. Um, there seem to be a lot of people around Lindsay. It's possible. I, I don't know. I... I don't know. I really don't. But I just wanted to share one of my theories with you. I do have other theories. I'm not saying this is the one. I'm just saying I find it interesting. I really find the tarot card thing really interesting. Please go watch it. It's a short on Mrs. G's channel and it's interesting. <laughs> All right, guys. I think our Kylie's alive. So, uh, hashtag find Kylie. Hashtag uh, 100K for justice for Kylie. Hashtag Jesus is king. And uh, I'll see you guys tonight at 1030 because it's morning now, right? <laughs> anyway, I love you guys and um, I'll see you soon. Bye.